in this particular session we will start with our first testing application that was diva beta so let's go with some scenarios that was available in this diva beta application so let's get started for the diva beta we have our application here so first we have to install our application and for that i'm using my terminal here just go with the terminal and go with the simple adb devices command just to verify that your devices were connected here you can see my device was connected here and this was the IP address and the port number here. So now I have to install the application here. For the installation you can directly drag and drop the application here. Or if you want to perform your actions from the CLI then you have to go with some basic commands. First of all navigate to the folder where your file was stored like CD, OneDrive, GitHub, MPT and application. Here we have our application with the name Diva Beta. So I will simply install the application with ADB install and the application name here is diva-beta.apk. This was the application name and just hit enter. Just verify the application has been installed and you can see here application is installed. So just execute this application here and let's start with our scenarios that were available in diva beta application this is application for the testing purpose to develop some skills or to test your skills right so the contain for those application was completely vulnerable so if you want to go with the application or if you want to see the code source code part you can use your different decompilers there so let's go with the first scenario that was insecure logging here all right the objective here was Find out what is being logged, where, how and the vulnerable code. So we have to figure out the vulnerable code. We need to figure out what things were logged inside this system log. And we need to figure out the vulnerable code as well. So let's go with that part first. So first of all, I'm going to add my credit card number that was expected here. Like enter your credit card number. I will enter credit card number as 789-456-321. Right? And just go with the checkout part. We got a basic error and error record and try again later. For the code part, we are going to use our Kali Linux here again. So just go with your Kali Linux. Go with your ZX GUI. Hit enter. And on ZX GUI, just go with the application diva-beta.apk. Go with open file. And here, we will go with the Java code for this particular application here. So right now one more thing, we don't know where this code for this particular activity was stored, right? We don't have any idea. So to figure out or to get a hint about the activity code here, we will simply go directly towards our Android manifest.xml file, right? And we will look for any activity that will relate the name with this logging part. So we'll simply check for like insecure word. We can simply search for the keyword like logging here. We can simply search for the code like transaction because in the input part we have to enter the credit card number. So you can simply go with these activity names here and you can try to relate the names with your different keywords that you have figured out from this activity here. So here if you just go with the first activity here you can see the name was log activity. It means that particular log activity was related to logging part. So if I go with the source code, you just have to follow the same hierarchy in the folders part. Go with the Jakar folder. Then inside Jakar, you will get the same. And inside a same folder, you will get the Diva folder. And inside that Diva folder, you will get your log activity. So just follow this path, Jakar, Asim, Diva. Expand this one. And here you will get your log.activity class. We got this one here. And this was the particular source code for your log.activity class. If you go with the source code here, you can see this was the basic simple class declaration part. Then inside the class, we got two methods here. First one was onCreate and under onCreate, we got two set of lines here that will be executed whenever we launch the activity. At the beginning or at the launch of the activity, these two line of codes will be executed because the onCreate function always get triggered when we launch a particular component. Other than this onCreate method, we got a checkout method here as well and we also get a method with the name processCC that may be used to process our credit card. If I go with this checkout method here, this particular checkout method was triggered from your view elements. 
so probably this particular method will be triggered from your button here the checkout button here which is again a view element we know this part so this was again a simple declaration simple declaration for your look at the text input field that we have used here to enter our credit card number after this declaration part we got the basic try block and under try block we simply call a method with the name process cc cc dot text dot get text dot to string and done we simply call this particular method here with the name process credit card which again accept an attribute that was of string type if you simply call this method this will execute a basic command and the command was throw new runtime exception it means this will simply trigger an exception so simply trigger an error you can say and all the errors will be catched will be handled by this catch block here like runtime exception e we have here and inside this catch block we can see we got this log dot e method that was used to write your logs inside your system logs here right and the message that was written inside the log was diva hyphen log and we got error while processing transaction with credit card and after this particular string we add our credit card number into the log adding any kind of user input or adding any kind of sensitive data on the logs is never a good treat so this was the main weakness here like you are adding your user input into the log part because all of the applications as well they also have access to these system logs and any activity can fetch your system logs and can extract your credit card number from the system logs that you have generated and if you leak your credit card number this is a sensitive data exposure so the data should not be leaked through your logs as well this was your vulnerable code here like your credit card number has been written into your system logs and to see the logs you just go with your terminal here again and write a basic command adb log cat if you don't want to follow windows here you can directly go with your linux terminal as well just go with your linux terminal go with the same command adb devices just to verify that devices were connected here we have to connect our device because both the machines were different so we have to use this ip address 192.168.154.102 and go with the command adb connect and go with ip address 192.168.154.102 and colon 5555 and hit enter this was connected if you simply go with the same command adb log cat and hit enter you will get the logs here but have to apply some filter for the filter part what you can do just terminate this command and apply a basic grep filter here to find out something just go with the grep and i will simply filter out the diva hyphen beta word here or if you want you can also add some words from this string like error while processing transaction with credit card you can even copy this text from your source code and you can add it here as well paste and enter you will get the logs that contains this particular string and you can see your credit card number was logged inside your system logs these logs contain the records for like almost all the activities they were not only for the diva beta application if you simply search here for diva beta there were again other logs as well for from the diva part if i go with simple diva hyphen beta and hit enter okay just go with diva and hit enter you can see there were so many logs but we want to figure out where we get this credit card number here so you can simply check your source code and figure out like if your sensitive data if any kind of sensitive data like your tokens your api keys your cookies your inputs part or any kind of data has been logged or not if it is logged then it was a weakness here that's all in your basic insecure data logging have a good day and stay connected